Hey guys, today we're doing an unboxing of the new SH Monster Arts Godzilla vs. Kong Kong figure. Um, finally got, of course, the figure. Um, got it from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, pretty excited, of course, because I've been wanting this figure for a while. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I don't know what to expect, of course. I have seen some reviews a little bit. So I'm pretty excited, of course, see how the figure looks in hand and like that. So I'm actually really excited for that. Um, another thing is, sorry, of course, my light box is not the best right now. It actually did broke. I just put a lamp thing on top for now. Uh, cause of my lights I actually broke on it. So that kind of does suck. So I need to buy a new, um, lighting system thing. So I'm trying to see, I'm trying to check, of course, good ones. Um, some are, of course, pretty pricey and some of them don't look that good to me. So I, of course, wait for that for a light box. Unless you guys know some kind of lighting setup, of course, like for reviews, can you guys let me know down below. That'd be really awesome. But so far I'm having a little, uh, of course, um, problem finding some that are good for me. So here we go, guys. Pretty excited. Um, of course, order this from Big Bad Toy Store. It retails for $67.99. But right now, I know that the price on Big Bad Toy Store is a little bit more expensive. I know it's like $77.99. I think they're charging like $10 more. I don't know why they did that, but they, they are. But yeah, so I'm pretty excited. Usually, they do their packaging really good. Um, I actually ordered um, SH Monsters and Sideshow. I actually ordered the Burning Godzilla and I used some of my reward points and they shipped it really bad. But looks like they packed it pretty well. And that is a tiny box. And wow, that is really tiny actually. Let me actually move this, move the box. Sweet, nothing fell. And there is the figure. Wow, this is really awesome. Here it is. We take off, of course, a little paper. Wow, this is actually a really tiny box. Um, this reminds me of an SH Figure Arts box a lot. It's just, of course, without the window pieces. But yeah, there it is. I'm pretty shocked, of course. Um, and there, of course, the oh my god, that thing is tiny. Man, that is actually really funny how tiny this thing looks. It's of course to be expected, but I was kind of shocked like in hand. But the boxer looks really nice. Um, so, yep, there's of course the box right there. So of course I'm gonna box this right here. Let um, me cut it. There you go. There you go. Slip this out. Pretty excited. I'm actually really excited. I need to get a figure stand. I need to buy some. So I want to do that pose that he's jumping. So let's look at the accessories first. And here is the axe. So far, not too bad. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the coloring right here, but it actually looks still looks pretty good, but not the best. Um, I remember look of course better as a prototype. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it kind of looks sloppy here a little bit, but it's actually look too bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, the only thing I do wish is that a more painting detail right here. Because I think it was um, people were saying that might be Godzilla's, of course, like skin. Not Godzilla's, but like his family members. Um, some kind of skin looking thing. But this is not that bad at all. There's some detail right here in the bottom. Yeah, that's not bad looking at all right there. Um, let's look, of course, at this head scope. Sorry, of course, the camera's then not the best. It's just um, I broke my other one. But here's, of course, the head scope. Uh, let's see. Wow, that looks insane. The detail right there. It looks really good. That is really awesome. Pretty interesting back here. I was not expecting that. But wow, this thing right here looks really cool. Wow, the detail in there. You see the teeth in the back. See the tongue. Wow, this is actually really insane. The detail inside in the mouth and like that. That's actually really cool. Sorry if you guys don't see that too well. Um, those are the hands right there. Pretty much as you expect. Oh, wow, that's pretty good actually. Right there. Open hands. Pretty good looking. Um, no painting on the nails. I actually forgot. I don't know if he even has painting in the nails. I'm pretty sure he doesn't actually. But yep, there you go. Those are the hands right there. Of course, the head scope. And here is the Kong figure. And wow, that actually fell off. Hopefully, it just fell off, not broken. Um, yep, this should not be broken. This should be easy. Of course, push in. 
Oh, uh, how do you put this in? Uh, does not want to go in. Oh, there you go. Okay, it's a little bit more force. Let me take off the baby thing on him. And there goes his head. That was my fault right there. Uh, let me take off these things right here. Sorry, I'm back. Um, had to answer that phone, but I'm back, of course. Let um, me take off, of course, this part around his stomach. And I don't know how to. Kind of scared to pull this, to be honest. I have no idea how to take this off. Wow. Oh, there you go. Okay, that scared me a little bit. Um, but wow, so far, this thing is really interesting. That's pretty loose right there. It's a little problem right there. It's a little bit too loose. Yeah, this one's, of course, a little bit more better. Hopefully, that's not a big problem. Actually, that might be a little bit. Hopefully, it can still stand. But wow. Nope, that's, of course, broke off or technically fell off a little bit. Put this back. But dang, so far, this thing is insane. The detail, the weathering, just how it looks, looks really nice. And dang, dang, this one likes falling off a lot. So far, two little problems. This one might be a little bigger. Yeah, because look how loose that feels. Yeah, you see? Yeah, oof, that's kind of like... Most likely, I have to put something. If you guys let me know in the below what to put, I know some people are going to say super glue or something. But I'm... Sorry, guys. Um, I'm back. I don't know what happened. My camera was keep pausing, I guess. I guess it wasn't stop recording. But then I checked. It was actually low on storage. So, of course, I had to delete some stuff. Um, hopefully, it doesn't do that again right now. If it does, great. <laughs> but here's, of course, the figure. What I was saying, um, there were some, of course, some problems right here in the legs being way too loose. Um, but I definitely most likely need to see some kind of item I'm going to buy or something to see. So it won't be loose unless you guys could let me down down below. That'd be really awesome what to use. I think mine is super glue. I don't think that's one of the best options right there. I do know that. Um, I think I heard maybe some, what do you call it? Nail polish or was it like, I forgot. I need to check again. Um, this right here is also pretty loose. Um, it does fall off a couple of times. And this one right here, this arm, I think it does a lot of, yeah, you see that always happens. Just keep popping off right here. Let me see if we could just go in this time easily. I think it did. But that one likes popping off a lot. But hopefully I don't doesn't do it too much. But this one looks pretty good. It likes... Dang, that's actually really cool. How much it can move. Yeah, there it goes again. Oh, God, just dang it. <laughs> this is kind of annoying. But... I guess that's what you expect from a figure this to happen. So most likely need to check some kind of items to see so it won't do that too much. Especially the one right here. Um, but so far I do get to say the figure looks amazing. It does look really nice. The only thing I really don't like too much is maybe the head part because you can't really look up. You can't at all. It's kind of weird how this joint thing looks like. It's really weird. Um, that's also another kind of bad part. When you move side to side, it could scratch the figure. But, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. The Kong figure. I don't know if I'm going to do review because there's already a lot of reviews. But I at least want to do an unboxing because uh, my first thoughts for this kind of figure. So far, there's some little problems. Um, maybe I might do a follow-up video for, of course, the parts are key, of course, falling off, stuff like that because it's, it's kind of happening but yep that's pretty much it right there guys hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time bye